another important uh, bit that uh, we are waiting for is the bankruptcy code going yes, forward. It's happened. It's official. It's happened. So the infrastructure has to happen, but the code has happened. How much time before that really takes off in terms of real implementation? I think it will take about at least six months hmm. uh, to actually start getting traction. I think that we are all advising on the bankruptcy code, hmm. um, law firms, accountancies, intermediaries. But uh, I think for one to actually start happening, for a insolvency practitioners notice to be registered, for the credit committee to get together, hmm. how are the 75% lenders actually going to behave? Hmm. Are there going to be constitutional challenges? Hmm. Uh, is that going to hold up? the uh, implementation so to speak but I think that what it has done is the fear factor has come to the table hmm. so earlier you were really worried as to whether uh, you could delay for more than a certain time hmm. I think now that delay has gone away from that code hmm. and the reality is that you may actually stop being able to run your company. The flip side of course, mm. which nobody wants to verbalize, mm. is that the banks really don't want to run your company. They have no idea how to run a chewing gum factory. Yes. They, yes. Want, not, they don't want to do it. Yes. Uh, but then how do you slow a process, mm. which now under the code, once you file, is mm. simply automatic. Mm. You have no ability to stop it beyond a point. Mm. And therefore the promoter being forced to come to the table hopefully hmm. is what is going to be achieved because otherwise it's automatic death hmm. and you can't kill a company in India you've hmm. got unions you've got people you've got social issues you can't kill a listed company or an unlisted yes. company hmm. so I think the the teeth of the statute is to really get the promoter to settle hmm. or bring in more equity or get out but that banks have been trying what is it that's going to be different in this case and do you dies. think many the company dies by law. And many of them are going to challenge this in the court of law They'll challenge and go it. for appeals. But even if they challenge it, it will be a challenge that will last for two years, three years. Hmm. The court may read down some sections. Hmm. The court may ask the government to relook at some sections. Hmm. But uh, the courts are also not sympathetic hmm. to defaulting promoters. We've seen the whole reaction of courts to all the uh, yeah. big cases that have been flashed. Hmm. So the judicial temperament is also that, you know, promoters who have taken have to pay back. Right. So to the extent that the code facilitates that, hmm. of course, if it's clearly got an Article 14 issue, they hmm. will intervene. Hmm. But otherwise, I think mentally they will want it to go through. So do you think that it will also propel many deals in the distressed asset space? Will it give comfort to the foreign investors to come in? I'm hoping. Or funds? I'm hoping so. We've seen many of them originate now. Many of the Canadian firms have also come. Many private equity yeah, firms have also tried. This still has its problems in the sense that the government still has to clarify a lot of things. Let's say it's a listed company. Hmm. And you want to take over uh, the converted shares that a bank has. Yes. When the bank holds the shares, there's no takeover code hmm. offer. But when the special sits funds, hmm. that exemption needs to come through. Yes. Otherwise, you're making a takeover offer to yes. pay public shareholders yes, it's money very expensive. for a company hmm. that has negative net worth. And you'll have to infuse more funds to revive that company. Which probably. could have gone to the bank. Yes. Hmm. So the special sits fund guy is going to say, I'm going to pay $100 for this. Hmm. You want me to give part of it to the public? Here's to the public. Yes. You want all of it to the bank? All of it to the bank. I have a 100 rupee watch chest. Hmm. Hmm. That doesn't make sense. So I think there are a lot of clarifications that have to come about. But again, the promoters have now got the clear message hmm. that the banks are not willing or frankly unable in hmm. the current political ecosystem hmm. to give the promoter any significant amount of infinite time. Hmm. There's hmm. a time clock of course, hmm. which now the promoter has to deal with. If I look at the entire big picture where uh, on one side India is getting digital, the corruption, uh, you know, could could really come down, uh, probably because of demonetization. But on the other hand, consumption may take a hit. We have to still see how FMCG companies really uh, show their numbers, auto companies show their numbers going forward. So it may hit the GDP growth to some extent. But on the other hand, the banking system may get stronger going forward. And uh, there could be digital space which may get better. The foreign participants may find India more comfortable and doable in the long run. 
net net is it going to be positive or negative in the short run the short run i don't think it's going to be superbly positive uh simply because you just don't know how the disruption is going to play out also you know the foreigners are also waiting and watching hmm. um i don't think before the budget unless somebody is taking a punt or a speculative hit hmm. there's going to be any deep huge commitment into the fdi space people will be seeing how it rolls out people will be seeing how the currency gets hit hmm. as a result hmm. uh because many of the pe's came in at 40 bucks and are now getting out at 68 bucks hmm. doesn't work for them you are hmm. the point bring down the rate yeah so uh I don't think there'll be too much euphoria right now. So what are the foreign investors and you have an interface with so many of them who are your clients what is the overall mood and view? Cautious. Cautious. And you think for the next two quarters that will be the case? Yes. Unless there's a strategic deal that can't be sent away unless there's a bidding process for a nice company where the PE boys just have to fall over it to win hmm. um just get over competitive hmm. um i don't think uh, people are going to write a check between now and the budget for something hugely significant sbi life is an exception simply yes. because it's in the insurance space yes and, and the process had already started before the exactly. monetization yes exactly but everything is on a wait and watch currently uh, much more and the equity market transactions they've taken a big hit as well as you see